Hi everybody, it's Brandon from Cointelli. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to import your client's crypto tax report into LaCert. Now you might notice that we are using the 2020 version of LaCert, but it works the exact same way for 2021 and beyond. So simply follow along. The first thing you wanna do is go into your client dashboard. Once your client has finished importing and sending and has sent you their crypto tax report, you can download. Simply click the download tax report button, making sure that your tax software is set to LACERT and you can download for whatever year you need to file on. Okay, so we'll do 2020. Great. So now we just go back into LACERT and we have to import. So make sure your client return is open. And from here, let's go to import, schedule D import. Now the wizard opens. And of course, if you have existing schedule D information that you want to keep, you can leave this option as add transactions, or if it's already blank and there's nothing in there, you can click add. But if you want to replace some transactions, there's two other options that you can use. So I'm going to add transactions. And when I browse, I'll find which one I want. Okay. There's my last cert 2020 and click next. Okay. So now we need to map out the formatting so that it can import it properly. So what we do with our, with our spreadsheets is that we try to map it in the way that would show up in less cert. So, for example, under asset amount, right, you're going to put quantity. Asset name will be description. Receipt date will be date acquired. Date sold, date sold, right? Proceeds will be the sales price. Cost basis will be the cost or other basis. And for gain and type, it will calculate it automatically based on the previous data. Now, those are the columns. We have to deal with the columns first. And then next, we want to deal with the rows. So if there's any rows that we want to ignore, like for example, the title row, we should check that box to make sure that it ignores it. Once we're satisfied, then we click next. Okay, so here's the review menu. You can double check to make sure it's the correct information. I know from memory that these were the, the gains and losses that we had. And so let's click finish. Okay. All right, successfully imported. Let's go to tax program. And here we are. Here's your detail where you can see all transactions. Um, you can even go sort it by coin and things like that. And then this should flow quite nicely into your return. So of course, feel free to save it. Um, and then, you know, you can review the forms as well to, of course, make sure it flows in. All right, there's our capital gains. I believe I've imported a few times already so that's why it might show a little difference and that's it so that is how you import your client's crypto tax report into less cert i hope that you have got some value out of this video and if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll see you next time thank you